Even talk about another flight out of Fremont County is cause for optimism. Who knows, the flight times could be more convenient. The fares could go down. The economy could be on the rebound. Two years ago, that was only a dream. Now the city of Riverton is doubling down on its relationship with Denver Air. They've been able to find ways to be effective and be efficient. And it's exciting to me that our performance has increased. And so um, through experience of flying to Riverton and Sheridan over the last several years, and then also the enthusiasm of our community. What the airline brings is access to Denver. And in all the discussion about diversifying, access is considered key. And it comes with a price tag for the city, though it's cheaper than the previous two years. The city paid upwards of $800,000. This 2018 fiscal year, they will pay just under half of that, pending the approval of a state grant. They have been proactive in finding partnerships in the Denver International area um, to make their service better for us in Wyoming. The city considered another proposal from a company called Sky West, which would have offered the same route Denver to Riverton to Sheridan. The city siding with Denver Air and its track record. That so far has been an overwhelming success since service began here two years ago. We're excited because we, you know, established this to uh, begin a long-term relationship, and I think this is just continuing that that initial uh, plan. And we were real excited that they chose us to continue to fly for their community. Uh, really, the sky's the limit right now, and uh, the fast and the city of Riverton is doing what it can to make sure we have the strong foundation necessary to keep Fremont County connected and to keep air service uh, in our communities. Denver Air says it's considering a more convenient route once the new contract goes into effect in July. All of this news is yet another reason for travelers to stay local instead of making the long drive to another airport. In Fremont County, Philip Benatti, K2 News.